enter a judgment of acquittal of any offense for which the evidence is insufficient to sustain a conviction. Uh, I've listened throughout the trial to all of the evidence submitted. Uh, there's multiple counts in this amended indictment. As I've gone through those, I'm prepared to make a ruling on nearly all of the motion here, but there is one particular issue that has arisen in the charging document, and I'd like to address that with the state if I could. So in the initial indictment filed in this case on May 25th, 2021, and I'm looking at count four, which is the charge of first degree murder involving JJ Vallo. Initially, uh, it was alleged that quote, on or between the 22nd and 23rd of September, 2019, is when the murder was committed. The state amended the indictment on February 20th, 2024. And under the amended indictment, the count four now reads as follows. The defendant, Chad Guy Daybell and Lori Noreen Vallow on or between the 8th and 9th day of September, 2019 in the county of Madison, state of Idaho. And then goes on to describe the allegations about the murder of JJ Vallow. When I look at the evidence that's been presented here from the state, uh, the evidence not only does not support a finding of the dates between the 8th and 9th of September, but contradicts that in that uh, JJ Vallo was clearly alive after the 9th of September from many witnesses, including testimony today. And so I have some concern that the charging language, which would control in this case in the amended indictment cites a date range that does not comport with the evidence. And I'm concerned about instructing jurors with evidence that I believe was never presented here at trial. Uh, it's an issue identified oh, as we prepared for this my hearing today. Goodness. Uh, I understand the state may not have been aware of that. It Lindsay. wasn't argued by the defense, but the court has its own duty to also review oh. the evidence and under 29 Heart uh, point out anything that may be uh, considered Wixen. for a potential judgment of acquittal. And so I don't know if the state is ready or willing to address the issue on the dates contained in count four now, or whether the state would like some additional time to look at the issue and perhaps come back a little later this afternoon and present some additional argument or authority. But I, I, have, I have a concern about count four. Uh, the testimony does not comport with that. I'll note one additional point. Um, we have an on or about instruction. Uh